Kevin Cork takes a look at why some medical professionals are a little bit hesitant, though, even with more than half of adults now partially vaccinated. I think they're going to start loosening mask restrictions. The future of face masks is up for debate again. The White House facing new tough questions Thursday about whether President Biden will continue asking the public to don face coverings at the end of his first 100 days in office. But not even his own press secretary could give a definite answer. He is working and in discussions with our health and medical experts about what we need to do to get the pandemic under control. So I don't have any update on that at this point in time. This comes as more than a dozen states have already abandoned their mandatory mask policies. But health authorities are continuing to advise caution. We remain in a complicated stage. Please mask up everybody because it does save lives. But more lawmakers are hinting at a possible end to face masks in the near future. Continue to wear the masks, and I'll keep saying it, at least through June. And the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is taking a similar tone as it now examines whether wearing a mask outdoors is even necessary. With the number of Americans getting vaccinated on the rise. An increase in vaccinations is also causing a major drop in hospitalizations among elderly Americans. In fact, the numbers are off some 70 percent thanks to the massive increase in vaccinations nationwide. Great news indeed. In Washington, I'm Kevin Cork for Good. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button.